Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to run seemingly unrelated regression in eViews. In seemingly unrelated regression, a GLS method is applied to exploit the correlation in the errors across the cross section units. The random effect model results in a particular type of correlation among the error terms. It is an equi-correlated model. In the SUR model, the error errors are independent over time, but correlated across the cross-section units. So you can see here, the covariance between mu it and mu js is sigma ij if t is equal to s. And if it is equal to zero, if t is not equal to s. The coefficient estimates obtained in the previous section were obtained under the assumption. So here we are talking about panel OLS and period and fixed effects models which we have discussed in the previous videos, kindly refer my playlist in which I already discussed about it. Our basic assumption was that, that the variance among G, that is General Electric, General Motors, US and Westinghouse, they are all equal. And the errors for the Westinghouse and General Electric equations in the same year are uncorrelated. This was our assumption. You can see here covariance EGE and EGM for that particular e is equal to zero. But in case of seemingly unrelated regression estimates are obtained under, under the assumption that the variance between the two firms are not equal, are not equal, and the covariance between the two error terms in the same year is not equal to zero. If you select cross-section SUR, if you use estimate a feasible GLS specification correcting for heteroscedasticity and contemporaneous correlation. Similarly, period weights allow for period heteroscedasticity while period SUR corrects for the heteroscedasticity and general correlation of observed within the cross section. Note that seemingly unrelated regression specifications are both examples of, of what is something sometimes referred to as a Parks estimator. Now there is a guideline which you will have to follow. If t is greater than 2n, then use the following method that is coefficient covariance method with cross section SUR and coefficient covariance method white cross section. If t is greater than n then use the following coefficient covariance method cross section weights and coefficient covariance method is white diagonal. If t is less than n then use the following coefficient covariance method period weights and coefficient covariance method is a white diagonal. If t is less than 2n, then use the following coefficient covariance, covariance method is period SUR and coefficient covariance method is white period. Now how to carry out this particular thing, let us see in eViews. I'll go in quick estimate equation y c x2 x3. I'll go in panel options and activate cross section seemingly unrelated regressions and here I will activate white diagonals. It is a coefficient covariance method. Click OK and you will get the estimates here. See the p-value? If it is less than 0 0.05 then they are all significant. Now how to run period soon. I'll go here and estimate panel options, activate the period seemingly unrelated regressions, click OK. Here it is giving me a warning, insufficient number of observations for period SUR estimation. The number of cross sections must be equal or exceed the number of periods. So that's an error message which I am getting. OK. Now in such scenario, which method to apply? So let us see a very practical aspect to this. It is possible that some of these options may not be estimable in eViews depending upon the particular set of fixed effects including in your model. If the first best option is available, if the first best option is unavailable, keep going backwards in terms of increased rest restriction. For example, if you cannot use cross-section SUR, use cross-section weights. If you cannot use cross-section weights, use no weights. So that's a practical scenario which we have to understand. 
for more videos on panel data regression using eviews kindly refer to my playlist i have already uploaded many videos which are related to the panel data regression please don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the like button you can also follow me on linkedin and twitter